Hi, this is Carl Aarons of Mountain Ocarinas here again to talk about sound control. How to play our ocarinas anytime without bothering nearby neighbors. If we live in an apartment or with other structures surrounding us. Or how to play our ocarina without bothering family members if they're nearby and they're on the phone or doing something that they don't want a lot of uh, noise. Or even how to play our ocarina and give ourselves a level of comfort. So let's say we're, uh, we're playing a new passage and we don't know it that well. Or we're playing a new song and we're butchering it as we learn it. We don't feel like the whole world listening in <laughs> Well, we make mistakes. So, yesterday, as a proposed solution to this, I made a quick and dirty video about my trash barrel sound booth. And that is a solution that works pretty well. But I think today, this morning, we've stumbled upon an idea that might be better and certainly uh, be less expensive, easier to do, and be more portable. What led to this is that uh, I'm about to take a trip for a week and I Hotel rooms are really poorly designed to control sound. I mean, you can be in the bathroom and hear your neighbor's conversation through the wall. <clears throat> I don't know why, but uh, they're not well designed for sound control many times. So, you don't want to be playing late at night in a hotel. Now, of course, I've used a silencer to play in hotels, and that can work really well. You see my videos about that. You can go to an uh, unused conference room sometimes, but hey, it's late at night, you're sitting around, no shoes on, and you just feel like playing your ocarina. Well, so I was, I looked into various little, you know, trying to design a kit that we could put in our suitcases and take on the road with us. Problem is, <clears throat> all my solutions were too hot and stuffy, you know. I couldn't see anybody besides me, you know, hunched under something hot and uncomfortable playing music. So, <clears throat> this morning, when I should be getting ready for this trip, I woke up with this idea in my mind, what if I could have just the ocarina and my hands in a sound box, and not my head, which produces all this heat. Uh, it would be much more comfortable and be a great solution. Problem is, the windway on the ocarina is only three quarters of an inch long or so, so that makes it hard. Well, enter Octobrass. Now, Octobrass, this is not the whole thing, but Octobrass is an invention by Dave Chamberlain, and he actually has patent pending on this. Dave is just a gem of a guy. You, he's a wonderful, wonderful fellow. Well, anyway, uh, it is Octobrass is mount, uh, attached to mountain ocarinas. Uh, is a receiver into which you can insert a trumpet or trombone or any brass mouthpiece, depending on the receiver. And you can practice buzzing, which is important if you're a, a brass, serious brass player. You can do it anytime and you can make music as you buzz. Uh, see Dave's Octobrass video about this. Uh, if you're a brass player, I think you'd be interested. Well, how does this relate to sound control? Well, I discussed with Dave <clears throat> as he was designing this that I learned a long time ago that if you had an excellent windway for three quarters of an inch or so, that you could add a long extension to that and uh, you'd get good sound and response, at least on our ocarina. So, let's take uh, the Octobrass, you know, the ocarina with the receiver here, plug in a McDonald's straw with a little bit of a tape to make it fit, and uh, it's like playing the ocarina. It sounds great. It's you maybe you have to get used to it a little bit, but it plays wonderfully. Well, now, here is just a regular old uh, cardboard box, one foot square, into which I have put a hole in the top, okay, to put my straw through, and a couple holes on the sides into which I can stick my hands. 
Now in here I've also got some uh, acoustic foam. So let's take the ocarina and stick it in there. And uh, then I gotta stick the straw out through the hole and insert it into the receiver. Okay, and then uh, Now, I don't know, this little camera that I'm using has a condenser on it, so it tends to want to bring all sound together. But I can tell you that this is dramatically quieter, and we've tested it with a decibel meter, and it's a huge, huge improvement. And I can basically make this as quiet as I want to. Now, what have I done here, very quickly, when both my wife and I know that I should be getting rid of, ready for my trip, so I've done it super quickly. I have just... <laughs> I've just taken this box. It's a double wall box. And I have put some acoustic foam in there, you know? And uh, you can see the... Uh, maybe you can see with that little camera. You can see the ocarina in there. This is simple. I could break this box down and take it with me on the road, and it really really works well. It would work equally well at home, so I can practice at any time, no matter what situation. Even in a dorm room, I could do this very easily. Uh, I could do this with my family very nearby. Now, this is just a germ of an idea. Uh, I've got here, which uh, Justin O'Neill from O'Neill uh, Industries has very kindly provided. This is two pounds per square foot uh, uh, loaded vinyl, weighted vinyl. It's a new product, actually. Usually one pound per square foot is the most you can find. But it, it, so it stops sound. We've got some acoustic foam to it. So I could make, uh, line this box with that and just make it absolutely sound dead. Well, I'll be gone for the next week or so, first in Massachusetts, then in Georgia, and uh, I'll be fooling around with this and having a good time playing my ocarina there in my hotel room. Uh, this is not the final word on anything. It's just to stimulate thought and to get us to share about this idea. Uh, hopefully it's been helpful. See you later. I have to turn the button off here.